could be out of gas. Let's see. Yep, it's out of gas. Alright, so here's where we are on this uh, 54 Chevy. We've got new brakes, new wheel cylinders, I should say, installed. Went ahead and kept the old brake pads for now because they look good enough. Got new brake lines all the way to the back of the car and a rebuilt master cylinder. And I found something else in the engine. So this is a hydraulic lifter engine, this 235 is because this is a power glide car. And we've got one lifter here that's giving us some problems. You can see these are the push rods and all of these are tight, as they should be. Just, uh, I think uh, it's supposed to be zero lash on these valves. And uh, this one has a ton of play. So this is collapsed lifter and uh, it's supposed to be up there and it's not working this valve. Now this is an intake valve, so that means that the cylinder is gonna have no compression and it's only gonna be running on five cylinders. So I've got to pull the lifter out and try to take it apart and clean it, see if I can't get it to work the right way. The great thing about these engines is you can take off the side panel down here and I think you can get to the lifters pretty easily. So that's where we are on this old bucket. I'm waiting on a new radiator in the mail so I can go ahead and work on the cooling system. And obviously, as you guys saw, the carburetor is toast. It needs a complete rebuild on it. It's pouring out gas everywhere and that wouldn't be cool. I'm in my little shed. This is super confined space. I haven't actually worked in this shed in a year or two. A tree fell on it and uh, damaged the roof pretty well. And after that, I, I kind of just slacked off and uh, didn't really mess with it and had it filled with junk. But uh, I cleaned it out so I could pull the car in here, get it on jack stands and lay on concrete to do this brake work. Um, the only scary stuff that I've really seen on the car uh, thus far uh, is that valve. Um, which I think that'll be pretty easy to fix. Obviously the leaking carburetor, something has got to be done about that. Uh, it's going to need a water pump. It's just streaming water out the front of the engine. And uh, I saw some smoke coming from, it looked like it was coming out of the water pump, which was weird uh, the other day. And I was hoping that I didn't have like a cracked head gasket and it was pumping exhaust back through the uh, water mains. But I think it was just the front of the engine heated up and was burning off some oil or something because I saw some of it today and it's filled up with water but uh so that's that's where we are on this car at the moment and i'm glad i went ahead and pulled the uh, valve cover off and looked down in there because i mean the motor looks it's not as as uh gummed up as some engines that i've seen but it's not pretty clean i've got a mixture of automatic transmission fluid and just uh 15w40 in it right now to try to get it cleaned out but uh that's where we're at with the car at the moment you can see the new master cylinder installed down there with all the pretty new brake lines still got to bleed the brakes of course i have to put the drums back on and everything for that but uh, that's a little update uh probably next update i'll be pulling out that lifter and seeing uh what i can find there